Hey everyone, this is Grant from Spectre Racing, and this is the quick and easy way on how to get data telemetry onto your driving videos. All right, so using this method of uh, data telemetry should only cost about $25, so this is a great deal compared to some of the uh, more, very much more expensive kits you can buy. So first up, what you're going to need is to uh, make sure your car is OBD2 compliant. Now most modern cars all have OBD2 ports. OBD2 is just uh, what your mechanic uses to, if your car has an engine code or it says it needs oil service or any of that kind of stuff, uh, it's a little thing underneath your steering wheel that plug in and check to see through your engine computer. Now OBD2 started in the late 90s, so make sure your car is new enough to, to use it. So the next thing you'll need to do is to buy an OBD2 module. Now this depends on the type of phone you have. So first up, if you have an Android phone, you'll want to buy a Bluetooth OBD2 module. Now I'll get into that later. Um, it makes much more sense with Android to get the Bluetooth. Now these run about $25, and I'll put the links up to the one I bought. I've been running this for two years, never had a problem with it, never dropped a single anything. Now keep in mind, um, with these modules, some of them are a lot bigger. You need, if you have a manual transmission, you need to get the stubby ones. I originally bought the bigger one, and first time I went to go use it, knocked it off when I went to go shift with using the clutch. So you need to get the stubby ones. So if you have an iPhone or run iOS, um, you need to get a Wi-Fi compliant OBD2 module. And that is because iOS is a bit more particular about what uh, is used with Bluetooth with iOS. So there is one of these that runs under Bluetooth with iOS, but it's like a hundred bucks, but it's not worth it. So you have to get the Wi-Fi one. These again run about $25. This particular one I've been using had no issue with it. This one's actually really cool. You can actually just leave it plugged in. You can turn it on and off so it's a little light in here isn't running and draining your battery. So the next thing you'll need is a cell phone mount. Now most of us probably already have this. So just go on Amazon. Now I recommend getting the metal ones. Don't get crappy plastic ones. If you've seen some of my older videos like here, they suck. So get the more expensive ones. This is one with a little, uh, it's got a little ball joint and everything. It's made out of metal. It holds it much better. You can tighten it. The little plastic ones, when you tighten them, the, the plastic threads, all they do is strip and they suck. All right, so we're here in the car now. Uh, so all you gotta do, once you got your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi OBD2 module, uh, plug it in before you turn on the car, although I don't really think it matters. Plug it in down here. Uh, you're gonna have to find it. It's different in every car. Sometimes you have to pull a little panel off. Uh, sometimes it's just right underneath where your clutch pedal would be. It's usually in a couple different places. So just plug it in, leave it there. So next up, get your cell phone mount, put it somewhere on your windshield. Now you could put it other places, but uh, we'll get into that in, in the other more advanced video with the GoPro and stuff like that. So mount it somewhere on your windshield and uh, Turn your phone on, and then you're going to download the app Track Addict. Now, Track Addict is a great app. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but for Android, it's free. There is a little optional thing on Android for live timing. I've never, never had the need to use it. I don't have unlimited data. On iOS, it does cost ten dollars. So once you've recorded a uh, you know competitive driving session or just you know driving around town, having fun with your friends or or anything really, uh, you can go into the app, view sessions, you can play the video with any different kind of overlay that you set up, uh, play around with the different settings in the app, uh, there's lots of cool stuff in there. Um, now the disadvantage of using this $25 setup is I haven't found a great way of sharing it with your friends. This only kind of works to show on your phone, and that's because the video and the data are two separate entities. 
you need to you need a piece of software to layer them together and we can go over that in the more advanced video so that's it thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to spectre racing here for more how-to guides uh, unique cars and amateur motorsports racing thanks for watching